What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over another celebrity's car collection. If this is your first time on the channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button down below. There's over 70% of you still not subscribed to this channel. And if you don't know how these videos work, all you have to do is comment down below a celebrity you would like us to cover in an upcoming video. And we'll be going through the comments and choosing the person who's the most recurring. But today's subject is Mr. Floyd Money Mayweather. <laughs> A lot of you have been asking for this one and I, have, I don't know how we're gonna cover it exactly. We're gonna be talking about a lot of cool cars here guys. Not one, not two, but several Bugatti Veyrons, Ferrari Enzo, a Koenigsegg, a Ventador, 650S, tons of Rolls. He has so many cars that we're gonna have to do this basically in categories. And I'm sure we've probably left one or two out. Floyd Money Mayweather, as you all know, is one of the most successful boxers of all time, which makes him one of the wealthiest athletes of all time. He's estimated to be worth over a billion dollars, around $1.2 billion. Having once apparently taken in $350 million in one fight. So clearly, he's got plenty of money to spend on cars. And that's exactly what he does. He has three car collections. One in Miami, which is kind of silver cars. One in LA, which is black cars. And one in Las Vegas, which is white cars. Themes them accordingly. There's the odd one here and there. You'll see that stands out a little bit, but generally that's the way it goes. He's had so many cars over the years. It's hard to kind of track what, it's basically impossible to track what he has now, what's gone, what's still there. But here are some of the highlights. First off, we're going to start with his oldest car, which is a 1996 Mercedes S-Class. One of the first kind of luxury cars that he went out and bought and has kept ever since and has nearly 50,000 kilometers on the clock now. It's white, so naturally it belongs in the Las Vegas car collection. This is the first time I genuinely don't know where to start. Let's just say, let's go Bentley. Bentley Flying Spur. So he's had a Flying Spur, he's had a Continental. I mean, here's a photo where you can see some of his luxury cars. So obviously he had a bunch of Bentleys. Uh, here's a little video of him also with his Bentley Molzan. He's kind of had the whole lineup from Bentley as well as Rolls Royce. We've had Wraiths, Ghosts, Phantom Coupes, Phantom Drophead, the new Phantom 8. Basically every luxury car you can dream of, he has owned. It's very, very hard to know the value of all of these cars put together, but considering he's now also got the Rolls-Royce Cullinan in black, the 4x4, uh, all of these, most of them, the Rolls Royces and the uh, Bentleys have 12 cylinder engines. He's also had uh, a, a few Maybach, a few, let me say that again, Maybach S600s. I think there's one in LA, one in Vegas, probably a few in Miami, New York, losing track. Let's round it up and let's say about $3 million in luxury cars. It could well be more because every single Phantom 8, at least, would be worth about half a million each. And we've seen him in like two or three different ones. The drop heads are probably 400 grand each. Wraith is 300 grand. Ghost is 250 to 300 grand. When you add it all up, I think it's reasonable to say he's got $3 million in luxury cars. And that's probably an understatement. Before we get into the supercars, let's also talk quickly about G-Wagons. Now, recently he's actually bought a G-Wagon for his daughter. Well, he's bought a few G-Wagons for his daughter. There were a few different colors, the old pre-facelift G63, and now the brand new G63. So between all those G-Wagons, let's say, let's whack another 400,000 on there because each one would probably be coming in at least a new model at around $200,000 fully spec'd out G63. So considering there's been at least two, we can say 400,000 on G-Wagons. Now, one of the supercars that we actually see in the white collection, which is the Las Vegas collection, is the McLaren 650S. Now, this is a V8 twin turbo from McLaren, around 650 horsepower, and those are probably running around $200,000 right now. When he bought it, it could have been more than that, around 250, but let's just say 200,000, because that's about what you can probably get a nice model with around 1,000 miles like his for these days. The white collection, I mean, I'm so sure you've seen some of these cars already, but there's also a Porsche Turbo S Cabriolet, probably another $180,000. There is a Lamborghini Aventador V12, 700 horsepower, four wheel drive beast. That's probably when he bought it, at least, because he brought it brand new, at least $350,000. And his Ferrari 458 Spider. This is a naturally aspirated V8 from Ferrari, just over 500 horsepower, awesome looking thing. Again, as you can tell, white, so it goes with the white collection, which is Las Vegas. This is another $200,000 car, at least, because you probably bought it new. You can tell we're being fairly conservative here with the estimations. Didn't quite stop there. Another white Ferrari is the 599 GTB Fiorano, apparently one of the first Ferraris that Floyd Mayweather bought himself. 
Now, back in the day, this was probably running him around two hundred eighty to three hundred thousand dollars. Today, you can pick them up for around one hundred fifty. But let's say let's round it up to two hundred twenty thousand because that's probably more realistically what he paid for the car. We then got another white car, which is the Mercedes SLS AMG. Now, these are interesting. The price of these, so it's a nationally aspirated V8, which was kind of made to commemorate the 300 SL Gullwing classic from Mercedes. These were actually, well, they were worth quite a bit, around $240,000 when they came out. Uh, came down in price quite a bit uh, because they weren't too rare. You could get your hands on them quite easily and now are shooting back up um, for a good one in good condition, you can be looking at over 200,000 again. So it's, it's again, tricky to know, but we're gonna estimate around $230,000 for the SLS AMG. An SLR as well. Now this wasn't actually confirmed to be Floyd Mayweather's, but there is a photo of him and another car we'll talk about in a little bit. Next to one, uh, now the reason I'm not so sure about this one is because it doesn't go with any of the themes of his garage. However, if it were to be his car, this one's slightly tuned, would probably be worth around $450,000. Awesome looking car, massive V8 in the side ex exhaust, gold wing doors, these things are epic. But for him, it's just one of the rest because he's got some even more epic cars. Right guys, sit down because we're gonna start talking Bugatti. And usually when we do these celebrity videos, the Bugatti is kind of the last car that we talk about. And I say do the Bugatti singular because we've only ever had someone who's had one. The closest we've gotten to having two, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott, each having their own and being in a relationship. Floyd Mayweather does not have one. He doesn't have two. He doesn't have three, but he has four Bugatti Veyrons. All slightly different and they've come into the collection at different points. Wait, no, I'm just thinking he's actually got five. He's got five Bugatti Veyrons. Insane. Right, let's start with the first two. So two, 16.4, so the original first Bugatti Veyrons with the original headlight, 1001 horsepower. He's got two of those. One which is kind of like a whitish silver with a platinum kind of blue, and one which got red finishes on it. Each one of these he probably bought for about $1.4 million. So that's already, yeah, 2.8 million in Bugattis, and those are just the two kind of standard ones, which he doesn't seem to ever really drive himself. Those are the two kind of follow cars for when he wants to show up somewhere with a bunch of his Bugattis, which he does often. I mean, how you even find two Bugattis just to buy like that, I don't know. But he didn't stop there, because then he wanted the slightly newer version of the Bugatti Veyron, which was the Grand Sport. So convertible, it's got slightly updated headlights. Now, under the skin, it's basically exactly the same. So 1,001 horsepower. Got a really funky finish on one of these, the white one, which obviously lives in Las Vegas. The white one, which has red carbon fiber all around it. Um, so really cool spec, actually. White rims, quite controversial, but he's been seen driving this car a fair amount. And this one was probably worth more around $1.8 million. So now in Las Vegas, because all of these were in Las Vegas, you've got three Veyrons, two 16.4s, one Grand Sport. Then in LA, he got himself another Grand Sport. So 1,001 horsepower, convertible version of the Bugatti Veyron. This time, fully red. So completely red on the outside. Took delivery of this car in LA. There was actually a few clips where you could see that the front splitter had gotten a little bit scraped. Now this one is probably going to come in around 1.7, 1.8 million. The reason I say maybe a little bit less is because it doesn't have quite as high as a spec as the white car. But yeah, basically identical cars in different specs, one in LA, one in Vegas. I mean, these are Bugattis we're talking about here. So not only do you have the buying price of them, you then have the running cost of these, which we know is around $50,000 just for an oil change. Pretty extreme. Now he then went on to buying another Bugatti, but this one completely different, a Bugatti Veyron Vitesse. So this one's got more like 1200 horsepower and they actually completely kind of redesigned the car from the ground up. It's not just a little facelift with a little bit more power. They had to reorganize the way the air traveled around the car, the cooling systems in the car and getting an extra 200 horsepower out of a thousand horsepower engine is not that easy. So, you know, this is a W16, a quad turbocharged engine, massive thing and was at the time the fastest convertible for sale. I believe he's actually sold this particular Veyron since. I believe it was also kept in Los Angeles, but this one probably came in for a whopping $2.4 million. 
dollars when he bought it. Variants have actually kind of come down in value since, so it's probably not worth that now, but we can safely assume he probably spent about that on the car. Another hypercar, which is around a similar cost. Apparently, reportedly, Floyd Money Mayweather paid $2.5 million for his Ferrari Enzo. Naturally aspirated V12, just over 600 horsepower. Beast Enzo was the name of the uh, founder of Ferrari, so it's a hugely historical car made to commemorate Enzo Ferrari himself. Very limited numbers, and they've been flying up in price. Now, such an iconic look at the front with almost like an F1 nose pointing forwards. They've aged so well, not only visually, but also as an investment. So $2.5 million for one of these is around market value. Now, it's always up and down, but uh, yeah, these have been going up quite a bit and I'm sure that will keep doing so. And now let's get on to the big daddy, the Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita. Floyd apparently paid $4.8 million for this Koenigsegg. Only three in the world, fully exposed silver carbon fiber. So when you see videos or when you see photos of this car, it doesn't really, it doesn't look like it's exposed carbon at first, but when you kind of get in, and look more at the car, you can tell that is completely fully exposed, gloss carbon fiber, over a thousand horsepower, 1,018 horsepower on these, and over 254 miles an hour is what they announce. You can take the roof off, massive V8 behind you. Now these are actually rear wheel drive, so they're quite a handful to cruise around in, but Floyd Mayweather uses his occasionally to go to the gym, as you can see in this video. He'll just casually take his $4.8 million Koenigsegg Trevita to go to his own gym in Las Vegas and often take a few Bugattis with him, why not? You'll see in this video, he showed up to the gym with many Bugattis around him. Pretty impressive lineup right there. I mean, he's got, what, seven hypercars in his collection? Clearly got a little bit of a thing for, uh, for Bugatti. Now, he's been quite open about talking how some of these cars can be long-term investments. So the Koenigsegg, for example, potentially being an investment. Now, it was reported he paid $4.8 million for his Trevita. It's possible, but it does seem like a lot. You know, the market value of this car, I'm, I'm no expert, but I imagine we maybe be more around two to three million. So maybe that's not exactly what he paid, but it's what we've seen in most of the articles. So you're gonna see next to me a frightening number, which is the total value of Floyd Mayweather's collection. And this is some of his cars. I'm sure he probably has or has had more in the past. Plenty, plenty more. But it's very hard to know if some of them are, are rented or, or just general cars. You know, for example, his Rolls Royce Phantom limousine. We're not entirely sure if he's still got that, if that's gone. The TMT, the money team Phantom limousine. How much would that be worth? We have no idea. So this is an estimation, of course. To be honest, because even though it is a frightening number, it's probably a conservative estimation of Floyd Money Mayweather's collection. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video, let me know if you found it interesting. Uh, I thought it'd be interesting to put an estimation value of the collection of these celebrities. Let me know if that's something that interests you as well or if you think it's a waste of time and space. We don't have to do it, we just thought we'd try it out. Remember to comment down below the name of a celebrity that you would like to see in next week's video and I'll be seeing you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching as always guys. Cheers and bye bye.